This is Twit. Okay, save us. Save us, David, by uh, telling us about the newest open source smartwatch that we can actually afford. Ah, uh, yes, you can afford it. It's actually available. It is the Tiny Watch S3. It's an open source customizable smartwatch powered by an ESP32 S3 system on a chip, SOC. Um, now, it's not for the faint of heart, so I'm not sure that all of us should be running out to buy one. Um, in fact, I find it very interesting, but I don't have the time or resources dedicated to it, so you won't see me wearing one. Um, because it does not come with, uh, it's not breadboard compatible, it does not come with any headers. Um, however, it is completely open source, both hardware and software. The repository has um, KCAD or KiCAD, it's K-I-C-A-D, um, design files and schematics. It's got the firmware files, the STL and STEP files for the case, um, example projects. So if you've always wanted to experiment uh, with what you carry around on your wrist, this is an open source project for you. Um, and it's pretty neat. It's rectangular, um, same, you know, standard watch face size. Uh, does not include the battery um, or watch band, but you can buy it for only $60. So if it's something you got some time to kick around with, something to uh, uh, play around with and it seems interesting to you, it does have um, a clock chip. It's got sensors, six axis, IMU, um, magnometer, magnometer, I guess the um, <clears throat> microphone, it's got magnetic buzzer, a haptics motor. Uh, there's a few buttons on it. There's a power on off button, a reset button, a boot button. Uh, and it does have ESD protection on the USB and buttons. Uh, two LEDs, one for power and one to indicate charging. Uh, 3D high gain antenna. Uh, so it's got some potential. And it's always cool to just see open source uh, spreading into all form factors. Yeah, the, the ESP32 S3, that is a, a fairly capable little microcontroller. Now, you're not running Linux on it, um, but you can you can do quite a bit with it. You know, you can you could do C++ code, um, you can do quite a bit. I, I would love to see something like the um, Yeah, something like this that had uh, GPS and LoRa on it. So I've got, in fact, I've got one, a little band. This is from uh, Lilygo. Uh, the T impulse, I think this one is called, but it does not have the ESP32 S3. This has a much lower powered chip on it. And so limited in what we can actually do with it. Um, but this is, this is cool. They're like, there's a lot that you can do with this sort of thing with custom firmware. Um, or I'm sure even with their, with their firmware, do you know what the battery life is like? Uh, it doesn't say in the review of it here. That's one of the other things that's tricky on devices like this. How do you get decent battery life without making the thing massive? By having it turn itself off periodically? Well, yeah, but that gets tricky too. Um, because you, you know, you want to be able to see the time. And so, you know, then, then you build things into it like shake to shake to wake. Um, but if you are too aggressive with trying to save battery life, then the thing will go into hard hangs where you've got to hard boot them to get them to come back up. And, it's it's fun. Yes, I've done a little bit of embedded development. I know I know where some of the pitfalls lie, <laughs> uh, but it's cool. Like, I, I, hopefully, people will jump on board with this. Um, usually, this sort of project has a fairly low barrier to entry. Like, it's much easier to get in hack on this than something like the Linux kernel. And so, somebody interested in just doing some begin. I assume it's in C plus plus. That's what a lot of these are written in these days. Uh, wants yeah. to do some of that kind of hacking. This would be a great project to jump in on and, and you know try to do it's, some simple stuff. It mentions that if you've got some Arduino experience, Arduino core framework specifically, mm -hmm. that Ar would be. Yes. So Arduino, it's okay. It's, it's platform IO and Arduino. Yeah. So our, the Arduino core, the Arduino framework has like taken over the embedded world. Um, there are Arduino core uh, sort of layers for a lot of embedded chips. And this the platform IO plus the Arduino framework is is really pretty popular. Uh, the the mesh tastic firmware that I work with this is exactly what we use. Um, 
we could probably we could probably run Mash Tastic on this just without a LoRa chip. It's not going to be very useful. <laughs> like, yeah. that's, that's sort of the main thing that we try to do. So without that being on there, the, the, but uh, yeah, like like I say though, this this would be a fun project for somebody that really wants to get kind of dip a toe into embedded development. I think this would be a really fun one to start with. So and it even comes with a sample Hello World app. There you app. go. There you go. Fifty nine bucks. Not too bad. Hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little clip from our programming at twit.tv. For more, visit our website, twit.tv, or subscribe on your favorite podcast client. There's also a link somewhere down there. <laughs>